I had conversations with both candidates, extensive conversations. I mean, two o'clock in the morning conversations. Like, get up out of the bed, can you meet me with me right now? You know, it's like, well, it's one o'clock. You know, we go to these locations and meet, you know, with both candidates. So I thoroughly looked at it. I, I, at one point, I was like, I'm not even bothered with this. I don't even, I'm not even going to consider even endorsing either one of them, you know, um, because of my personal opinion. Uh, so, but I said, it's not about me. It's about the will of the people. I know there's a lot of people that's going to vote, you know, a lot of people that feel that's their, their duty to vote, and they really, truly, you know, it's a lot of people that's not, you know, when a lady called me up and said, Luke, I got my rights restored. I got to vote for somebody, you know, because I really, that's sacred to me. I got to, you know, I don't really like both of them, but I, I need to do with what we've done, you know. Can we make this work? So that makes me go sit down at the table with both of these guys. Hey, here's my plan. You know, you know my, you know, you know what I want. You know the things that, you know, that's in my uh, platform. Let's talk about can we get some of these things done? Can we move from zero percent of African American minority contracts? Can we move that up? That's got to be moved up. So did you get? So that's what I'm. That, no, that's we got what I'm specifics. Uh, and, and, and the promises were, uh, yes. Yes, I'm, I can move that up. And then, okay, uh, what about, you know, and then the hitman's question, you know, how do you feel about uh, the CRA? Uh, because I understand you want to uh, sunset the CRA. Yes, I want to sunset the CRA, and then he goes into his reasons, because I don't think the CRA is doing a proper job. It's not designed for people to keep jobs over 20 years, and that was his position. I said, okay, <clears> fine, <throat> you know, but that would directly affect. You know what I'm all about. I'm all, get rid of the Overtown and the Omni Redevelopment Agency. Exactly. So that that money would come back into the city. Exactly, and that's what you know. He felt that okay. I want to, you know, the, the uh, county doesn't have a seat at the at the table, but we give X amount of dollars there, and I don't think they're doing you know a good enough job. And I'm saying okay, well, I mean, isn't that the job of the mayor? The mayor needs to step down on them. So I went to both of them. I said, look, here's the deal. You know. I'm hearing both of you guys, um, uh, both guys are talking good. One guy, you know, they say one thing about Carlos. They say Carlos is a racist. I don't think Carlos is a racist, but that floats out there. They say Rabino's a crook. I don't think he's a crook. That floats out there. You know what I'm saying? Those things float out there. You know, and, and things that people do kind of make it seem like. So, yeah, I'm, you know, we're doing our thing at the new time. Yeah, it's a big liar. You know, and crook and, and all this, uh, you know, property, you know, you got properties uh, on on places where you're not paying any taxes and all those funny things. So we call it, you know, call it like it is. And I told him, you know, hey, look, I call it like I see it. You know, we can talk, we can have a conversation about anything that I even said during the campaign trail or uh, have wrote. And you just tell me, I, I don't have a problem with you, you know. Uh, give me your opinion that you're entitled to it. But at the same time, like I say, I, I, I changed it. I said, like a presidential campaign, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama comes together. At some point, some people from Hillary Clinton's, Bill Clinton's cabinet is now working in Barack's. So that's a part of their deal. Hillary, you working over there. I'm, you know, you're the Secretary of State. You know, you got Biden over there, but some of those guys in there came from Clinton's uh, cabinet. That'll get certain things. So that was my idea. Hey, look, I got guys, you know, uh, uh, that's was a part of my campaign. Qualified guys, not no. This ain't no, you know, uh, nepotism deal going. No qualified guys that we need to have in there. That'll make me feel better. That would make me feel better. We, you saying that you're gonna, pro you promising all these things, you know, from uh, uh, urban development, uh, affordable housing. Uh, uh, the arts, you know, which is something dear to me. Uh, me playing, us playing a major role in the arts uh, and, and, uh, and the job creation and these jobs and us moving this number from 0% up to 5 or 10% of, of uh, minority contracts going directly to the, if I need my guy in there to make sure that happens.